guys this is the first video that i'm making if you know me i love books and i love thrifting so when i recently went to the thrift store i found all of these so obviously i had to get them do i need all of them no do i even know what some of them are about no because when a book is 50 cents i'm gonna get it now usually i'm not this lucky when i go to the thrift stores sometimes i am but i came home with 15. i just want to say thank you to whoever donated all their books to the goodwill okay i really appreciate it all right so let's just get into it i first got the woman in cabin 10. this book is not what i thought it was about i just looked up the synopsis why did i think that they're in a literal cabin in the woods like literally it's the ocean i always get this one confused with i think it's the woman on the train just looked it up there are so many like versions of this title i also own the girl on the train so that was what I was confusing with, but that's a totally different author. And also The Woman in the Window, which is a different author. And I started that, I DNF'd it. I do have one of her other books, In a Dark Dark Wood. I haven't read that one either. And I also thrifted that one. So I'm hoping that these books aren't like terrible and that's the reason people thrifted them. But also I've seen good thrifted books. So we'll see. The next two are from Crazy Rich Asian series. I own the first one. I haven't read it. I was actually going to give it away and I'm so glad I didn't because then I ended up finding these two and I feel like that'll motivate me more to read the book. It's not that I'm not interested in the book. It's that I watched the movie and I was so in love with that movie that I feel like the book just like I know it'll probably be better but it just in my mind it won't compare. So I'm hoping that when I read it It'll actually be like, I'm experiencing the movie again. This one, I have never heard of. I'm gonna talk about the other books by Holly Black that I also got. I picked this one up initially, and then I was like, hmm, Holly Black sounds familiar, but I don't know. So I put it back. Also, I'm not a fan of like really thick books, so. But then I saw that she wrote The Cruel Prince. So I was like, all right, I'm not even gonna read it. I'm just. I'm, I'm gonna get it. I haven't heard anyone on BookTok or BookTube talk about this, even Instagram, so I'm interested to see what this is about. Let me know if anyone else has read this. Tell me what you thought of it. But that brings me to the Cruel Prince series. First, I think I saw this, this book, and I was like, it sounds too familiar to pass up. Like, okay, I'll hold on to it. I looked on the back and I was like, oh, Cruel Prince. I do know that one. I haven't read it, but I know what it is and I wanna read it. And then I saw this one. I was gonna get these and then just buy the first book online. And then that's when I went back through the books and I found it, I found it. I saw Haley Pham's recent video where she was talking about the books that she read in 2022 and the Cool Prince series is one of her like, I think it was the second one or the third one where her like top favorite books of the year, not this one, but you have to get through this one to read these. Either way, I'm excited. So the next one is Where the Crawdads Sing. It's in large print, and I've seen this before in another thrift store that was large print, and I was like, no, I don't do large print. But like, also, why not? Like, this just seems so much easier to read. It seems like it'll go by faster. And I also, I'm interested in the book, but I heard things about the author that made me want to not buy it from an actual store so that she gets any money from it, you know, I compromise. But it'll be interesting to read this and then watch the show. The next one is a weird one. And I contemplated buying it. The cover is so bad. So if you don't know, Ruby Dixon wrote Ice Planet Barbarians and I'm one of those people that read them. I didn't read all of them. I think I got to the fourth one. I have never heard of this. I didn't even know she wrote any other books. Whoever whoever had this before me clearly read it all because the spine is, she's worn. The next one I have is Ember in the Ashes. I have no clue what this book is about, but the cover looked familiar, so I bought it. I'm an idiot. I was confusing this book with the Sarah J Mass series. You can't tell me the covers don't look slightly similar. The next books are a series. The first one is A Winter's Promise, which I had seen a lot of people read before. I have no clue what it is about, but is the cover gorgeous? Yes. And then I found the second one, A Missing, 
Oh, the missing... Oh, don't make me say that word. The missing of Claire de Lune. Oh, I've mostly seen this book. I haven't seen anyone really talk about this book. This is the best part about thrift stores is because you come across books that like you've seen before but you wouldn't necessarily buy. But since they're only 50 cents or a dollar, you're gonna buy them. Come on. On the bookshelf. Gorgeous. I have all the missing girls. I feel like I have another one of... I was just gonna say, I think I have another one of her books, and I do. The Perfect Stranger. Have I read it? No. Did I get it at a thrift store? Yes. I have a problem. Second to last is Take a Hint, Danny Brown. I tried to listen to the audiobook of Get a Life, Chloe Brown, and I could not get into it because I have this thing where if I listen to audiobooks and if they're British, I can't do it. It just does, I don't know. It's something just doesn't click, and I just. I zone out. I'm excited to read this one and not listen to an audiobook. And the last one <laughs> is Midnight Sun. I have, I have all the Twilight books. I think I'm missing some. This being one of them. So that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you thought it was at least a little bit interesting because it is my first video. Let me know if you have read any of these books, if I should read one over the other. I'm hoping I'll make more videos. I'm really, I'm trying to hold myself to do it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.